J Money. I'ma call you, Jay. J Money. I'ma call you, Jay. Hey, money. Call you, Joe. Yeah. Hey, money. Call you, Joe. What a phone is on like this. Okay. So we're waiting on the mail to come in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, can you hey, hear me? What's going on? How you doing? I'm trying to get my camera on. Okay, yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Hey, cool, cool, cool. There you go. What's going on? Not much. How you doing? How you doing, man? I'm doing good. Good, good, good. Can you can you hear me pretty good? Yes, sir. Can you hear me? I can, I can, I can. Yeah, man. Look, where you are you sitting in your office? Yes, sir. It look good over there, man. Thank you, thank you. Hey man, I want to start off by congratulating you. You know, I want to just congratulate you um for everything that I've been seeing, you know, especially with you being so young, bro. Like I was 18, and I know at 18 I didn't have the the mindset to to in the skill you know to even think to even that i could be the mayor you feel yes, me sir. so I, I i i i salute you for that bro and i you know i appreciate everything you got going on i'm you know i'm from little rock wow i didn't know that i got family in little rock yeah i'm from little rock so i'm 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 a native i'm an arkansas native so i i'm impressed man and i just want you to know that you know before we you know just got the going you know Yes, sir. So, 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 so you the you the you the um the youngest black mayor in America. That's what they yes, say, sir. right? Yes, sir. How that feel? It feels good, man. It feels amazing. Feels amazing, yeah. No, nah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Growing up in Earl, um, and like in high school, was you like the was you like most likely to succeed? You know, like what kind of stats did you have in high school? You know, could the you know with your fellow classmates be like, I, I saw this in in Jalen. You know, yeah, uh huh. Yeah, pretty much all my classmates said that. You know, because I, I was I've always acted different. You know, with them because uh, I always dressed where I wanted to go. Yeah, so I had to be different and uh, act a certain way, and so that's what I did because I know where I wanted to go. So I had to act like where I wanted to go. I got you. I got you. So basically, when you're saying that, you're saying like you you used to wear suits and stuff to school sometime, maybe. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I started, yeah, I started wearing suits to school when I was in the ninth grade. For real? Yes, sir. That's cool, though, man. That's cool. Like full suits with the tie and everything? Yes, sir. Well, um, People used to ask you questions and stuff. And I mean, I know what you just used to brush it off like that didn't bother you none at all. 
and they asked me questions, but I didn't, I didn't, uh, you know, entertain what they were talking. Some of them, you know, talking, me talking. But uh, I, uh, they really entertain me because I know, I know who, I know who God uh, uh, created me to be. So I know I had to dress different, act different. Yeah. And dress, you know, and uh, <clears throat> do what I need to go, need do what I need to do to succeed. Yeah. Like, you know, a lot of 18 year olds, like people your age, they want to be a rapper or they want to be a basketball player. Like, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? Like you. So you really in your head was like, I want to be the mayor or the president or something like that's how you felt. Yes, sir. Most definitely. Oh, that's good. And I'm asking these questions for everybody that's listening and watching because I want them to understand, too, that it, a lot of these things start in the mind, too, you know, because. I knew yep. the executive that I wanted to be young. You know, like, I knew that right. young. So I, I, I appreciate you saying that. Um, I say, I say, see you big on public safety, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. How you feel about the, um, the the black murders over the past years, like since like 2018? Uh, you're talking about like, as far as like, you know. The, the, the public ones, you know? Well, to me, I just feel like, you know, the people, you know, uh, the murders, it's just, it's just been crazy, you know, because, you know, how can we as a nation, you know, you know, try to get, you know, hold the police accountable, you know, for killing us black men, but we're still doing the same thing, if that makes mm. sense. Killing, mm. We killing each other. So how can we, you know, make a stand or have a voice when we're doing the exact same thing the police doing? doing the you know, thing. but, you yeah. know, People are people already see uh, black men as a statistic, as a statistic of doing killing people, going to jail, yeah, and different things like that, you know. So they, they just take us for a joke, and you know, and it's like, how can we want better? When we still doing the same things that the people are already predicting us to do. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, that's right. No, I understand. I feel you. I get that too. That's right. You know what I mean? <laughs> We got to break the we we got to break the chain somewhere. We got we to change that for sure in our community first, our culture, our people. We got to change it first, basically. For we just get the, I mean, we can pr point fingers all day because of what go on is facts. That stuff that go on, it, it be you know, it's 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 not good that it go on. But right. we got to change in our community too. That's what what you yeah. And um, in, tw in twenty eighteen in Little Rock, you know, which I told you I'm a native of Little Rock. In Little Rock, they they uh we 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 uh we elected uh Frank Scott. Yeah, that's my guy. We real close. Yeah, that's what I wanted to know. How close were you and Frank Scott? Like, did he reach out to you? How proud is he of this? You know, he Frank is very uh very excited, very proud. I talk to him sometimes, most every day, but mostly every other day we talk about yeah. different things. We get, I I said not too long, but like a week ago, I went down there to talk with him and different yeah. things, but we. We we back and we communicate with each other pretty often. Yeah, Frank Scott. Yeah, I, I like what Frank Scott got going on, and he big in the community too. You know, like he he got it. You can he he out moving around. Is that how you are? Is an Earl? Like, can they can they see you out? They see you out in public. I mean, you know, you eating at the same restaurants. They eating that and stuff. Apparently, you know. Yeah, most definitely they they see me. I'm I'm I don't believe in sitting behind this all day. I believe yeah. getting out, meeting with and talking with the community, having lunch here. You know because. We all have to live here, you know. In order for us to want, you know, to get better, we have to do the same old thing, you know, the same old thing before we even came here, you know. Mm -hmm. I go in the store, shopping in stores, getting food here, and so I do the exact same thing. You take it's a lot of good. pictures. I take a lot of pictures. Everything I'm doing with the community, <laughs> I'm taking pictures, posting on Facebook, let the community know we're we're doing this. Like this morning, uh, I see the workers are actually uh, fixing some of the drainage system, so I took a picture of that. And post on Facebook, let the people know that we're actually out here working, you know, because right. I don't think I don't think people want to see is every action and results. If they see you trying, you know, that's right. Hey, hey, now that's right. That. That's right, too. They see you trying, yeah, because they you know, we want results for sure. But you know, if they see you out there with your feet in the in the mud, they <laughs> they proud of that, and, and that's what's up. But you young, so I know you're ready to be out of out there, you know, like um. Outside of politics, what do you do for fun, Jay? Or, or Mayor Smith? Sorry. Well, me, man, me personally, what I do, honestly, I, uh, you know, I go ride ATVs, bowl, and different things like that. Oh, uh, for real? 
yeah, for the most part, I, you know, sometimes I mainly just be at home and laying down, sleeping, because I'd be working a lot. So, <laughs> yeah, helping other people. And so, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it'd be pretty bad. It'd either be I go hey, riding ATVs, go mudding, deer hunting, different things like that, or go bowling, go out to eat. So, yeah. or it's straight sleeping. So, this weekend, I think I'm just going to sleep because I'm really, t- you know, it's a long week. So, yeah. No, I saw you get sworn in. I saw it, man. Congratulations. I watched it. I was like, that's cool, man. Look at him, man. That's Thank It's you, all man. exciting for me, man. Just like I know it is for the world, man. Like, you know, you, you know, I don't know if you know, but I know, you know, you went viral. You know what I mean, too? You went viral. Like everybody in the world, every blog site, everybody was talking about Mayor Jalen Smith, you know, and everybody proud too, man. If you read some of the comments, they are excited for you, man. And and I, I am too. You you history, bro. You are history, you know. And that's 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 so that's good, man. That's that's good. God good, man. Yeah. God yeah. good. All the time. Can you um can you give some um advice to 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 a young guy that's 18 that, that didn't get the route that you got? Yeah, man. You know, um, <laughs> You know, what I would say, you know, say to young people that, you know, that's trying to do great things, not necessarily in politics, but anything they want to do, regardless of how people see you or how, how people think of you, just continue to press forward. You know, because like when I run my campaign, I had some negative comments and positive comments, but I let the positive outweigh the bad comments. Then also what I did was I used those bad, those bad comments to motivate me to prove those people wrong. That's right. Because man. when you look at it, when you look at it, People that's actually talking about you with the same people in your face, I want you to do something. <laughs> we still gotta right. we, we still gotta continue to move forward. Whatever your whatever your heart desire you to do, do it. Yeah. You know, everybody not gonna know what you everybody not gonna know what God has put you on this earth to do. We just won't know. That's right. That's right. Nah, that's right. You may write you the vision, make the plane, but we won't know until that point in time come. You know, so <laughs> yeah. you know. but man, like I was telling you. Just continue to put to push forward. You know, yeah. I regard I re, I re, I re, um um God, the word for I refuse to let anybody tell me no. That's right, man. Me too. <laughs> me too. I tell you, when somebody wants a person tell you why they have a boss, their boss have a boss. Cause yeah. somebody somebody gonna see your vision and somebody gonna say, Yeah, I love that idea. Why didn't you approve that? You know, so somebody always waiting behind. Somebody's always waiting to say yes. Even though somebody tell you no, it's always somebody to say yes. Tell it's me. It's always somebody to say yes, man. What um let, let me ask you this. Can you give um like you know how a lot of politicians they have like a promise? Do you have a uh, promise that's something you will change in your area or period? You know? I wouldn't say a promise because okay. you know, you never you never know how long it would the project would take. You know, that's I right. would just say to the people I like when I ran my camp, I told them what I wanted to do. And I told I told them, I'm not gonna promise you, I don't think I can do it. I know I can do it. That's right, man. Because if you make a promise, say, I promise you we're gonna get a grocery store. And we don't get one. It's like you basically lied to them. And like I told my people, we're gonna get we're gonna get a grocery store because I tell like I tell them, people are reaching out to me. I'm not reaching out to them. So they yeah. want they want to attract. But the thing, what you have to do is you have to tell people, like I told them on my campaign, I wouldn't tell you something I know I couldn't do. I just wouldn't tell right. you that. I just wouldn't tell you that. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't let that come out of my mouth because I know I can't, I couldn't do it. You know, you have to tell people the truth and let those people look to see it because, you know, everything's not going to happen overnight. You want to do, we wish it could, but it's mm-hmm. not. Mm-hmm. But if people see the effort, the action that you're doing to get that there, that's the only thing that matters to them. Man, listen, man. I so appreciate that. And I got, I want, got like two more things I want to run by you. First off, I didn't um, actually introduce myself formally to you, but I am. I'm Demarcus Adams. I'm DA. I'm Gutter TV. I started a company called Gutter TV, and it, it just it blew up. It just went nationwide. It's it's a big deal to the hip hop community. And and I just want to say, um, do you listen to hip hop? I pretty I do listen to hip hop, but it's not like an area that I listen to hip hop. But I do listen to. Uh, do do you have an artist that you can you give me one that you might you know listen to if you do listen to it? Well, me, I'm a time, I'm, I'm a back in the day guy. You know, I listen to. Uh, uh, I can't even think of his name. Uh, <laughs> um, 
I, I just like set it off, different things like that. Then yeah. uh, is that boost? Rapper, yeah, boost. And then a new rapper that just came out from did the little uh, song over here uh, in Arkansas. Then okay, uh, other young lady that did this rap music over here in, in Memphis. Okay. And so I've been listening to them, to them, and boosting them, different t- types of people. Yeah, um, yeah. I listen to it. I don't listen to it around people, but That's I listen right. to what they make. That's right. No, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. We love that in our community. Um, <laughs> what you think about you being the the, the the second black president? What you think about that? Am I am I stretching it, or or is that that's 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 possible, right? That's possible. That's a dream that I'm uh, waiting to make sure it come come to pass. Come on, man. Yeah. I'm with you, man. I'm praying for you, you know, and I'm proud of you and I salute you, you know, like seriously, bro. Like seriously, I got nephews that's that's your age and I I I, I salute what they got going on, but and and I and I'm proud of what they're doing. And I'm but I'm proud of what you got going, man, because it's such a different lane, you know, yeah. and it's a lane that we should go in at that age, you know, because we are we late to everything. You know, mm-hmm. like you so yeah. ahead of the game right now. By the time you thirty, you gon' you you gonna know some things, man. I, I man, I'm happy for you, bro. I thank you, bro. Yo, um, I just want to say, uh, keep doing your thing. Uh, I'm behind you. One day I want to get out there to meet you. I'm not far from you. Um, even though I move around a lot. Um, I got one more question. Are you gonna be going to like any big? Um, I know, like since you're a mayor, you can go to big conferences in in Washington and different things like that, right? Yeah, I actually will be going to like the um, um, the African American uh, Black Mayors Association. I got some more big old conferences I gotta go to in DC as well this uh, this upcoming year because I'm doing a lot of traveling as well. That's right. Uh, I'm doing a lot of traveling back and forth, but I will be at those big conferences down in DC, New That's York. That's right, man. That's right, man. Well, do 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 it, man. Do it big. Uh, God with you, man, and we the, the fans with you. You got fans now and supporters, and you are you a mayor, so that's big, man. Like love, you know. I thank you for doing this interview too. You know, oh, sir, of course, of course, yep. no problem. Remember, go to TV, and I got the new artist out, Moonwalker. I gotta tell you about my artist, Moonwalker. He, got a, he has a song called Lizzo. You no, know, check him out. That's my artist, and 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 and, and we working. Yes, yeah, sir. I make sure I go listen to him. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mayor. I'm going to catch you on the rebound. All right. All right, let's go. Thank you. Yes, sir, thank you. Peace. Man, that's hard. That's hard. Good interview with the Mayor. Uh, hey, man, y'all know, man, come on, man. Just go to TV. I just interviewed the mayor. That's hard. That's hard.